Okay, so let's talk about some of these Instagram groups. There were a few, but we're only going to talk about the ones whose information I'm confident in. Let's start with one of the groups. It was called Gossip Girls. Yes, Gossip Girls, like the TV series. Now, this group was formed because it was supposed to be a fun group. It was supposed to be a group that was just supportive of Teresa and you know, it was just going to be a group that posts supportive posts and maybe have a little gossip, spill a little tea, let each other know what information they had, etc., etc., etc. There were a few of these groups, and I'm sure a lot of them started off that way, but then the hierarchy took over. But again, we're only going to talk about the groups whose information I'm confident in. And at the top of the hierarchy is an account that you guys are probably very familiar with if you guys are into New Jersey like that. Now, if you guys are more active on Twitter, you might know her as Melissa's own nose. If you guys are more active on Instagram, you might know her as all R-H-O-N-J facts. If you guys are most active on TikTok like I am, then you'll know her by love, 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 Gabriella. Let's talk about Gabriella, shall we? Now, Gabriella, I know you've been creeping on my videos, and I know that you probably gave yourself a little mini panic attack when you saw the last 15 seconds of my last video and you saw that college. Now, Gabriella, I know that you know who I'm referencing with that college. So, the gig is up, but let's talk about some of that gig, shall we? Now, Gabriella had two sides of the story that she would tell people. To her little beehive, because she was the queen bee in this weird ass fandom that she had going on. To those little busy bees, she was the wife of a professor. No, she wasn't. She really wasn't. And she really isn't. To the other side, though, to the side that she was trying to get in good with, she had a woe is me story. Now, I asked one of the persons in Gossip Girls, have you ever seen a picture of her with Teresa. No, never. Okay. Have you ever seen a picture with her and Melissa Feaster? Yes. Have you ever seen a picture of her with Jen Aiden? Yes. Very interesting. Now, Gossip Girl said that Gabriella made it seem as if she had it in good with Jen Aiden, that she could get you a job with Jen Aiden. But then she would kind of play off like she forgot about it or she would just not mention it again. Well, Gossip Girl decided to reach out to Jen Aiden personally. Okay, now... I'm not going to blast the person who does go to that college. But Gabriella, how embarrassing would it be for you if they knew what a little busy bee you've been? So, let's see. Where should we start with Gabriella? Gabriella made it seem as if she was about that life or whenever there was media confirmation, or whenever the media post that Teresa was out in LA, she would make it seem as if 
she was going to meet up with Teresa. She was going to have dinner with Teresa. She was going to have drinks with Teresa. She made it seem as if she talked to Teresa 20 hours a day. You know what movie comes to mind? Two movies. The Talented Mr. Ripley and Single White Female. Now, no one ever seemed to question Gabriella, though. And they didn't seem to question her because some of the stuff that she was saying was credible. And some of the stuff that she said, she was able to back up. So she must have had it in with someone. Who did she have her in with? <laughs> 